it's important as someone who is an expert and like there, I think there is a, a notion that we know everything and we're standing up here to like tell the minions what we've learned in our masterful like years of sex. And like, I, I think it's also important to show that like, yeah, sex is funny. Some of these words are really silly sounding. There's like all this innuendo and slang out there that we still use. We're not just going to be like, we only speak like we're reading a medical textbook. Also, like, there are all these like wiggly bits and fluids. Yeah, like yeah. it's a, it's it's a silly thing to do. And like we, you know, I know my experience in school, there was people joking about sex like constantly as people are trying to figure it out. And like some of that comes from discomfort and some of it comes from the reality of like, squishing multiple bodies together until they make weird sounds and like we make weird faces is a silly thing to do and like being able to stand up there as an expert and be like i too find this funny can i think be really humanizing yeah and it's important because i do i find it funny i do yeah <laughs> that's why in my bj class i always tell a story about how i threw up when I was trying deep throating and yes. it went like, and the cock went way too far down my throat <laughs> and I threw up all over my partner. Like I tell people that story because those kinds of things happen. Yeah, yeah. And it's important for like people to know, even the experts, the person who's like teaches other people how to deep throat still yeah. occasionally barfs, you know, and stuff <laughs> like still that. occasionally barf, yep. It, because there important. is no like, there's no person who is good at every single sex thing and like does every single sex thing with grace. Like yeah. all of us are dealing with the awkwardness of moments. And I think like hearing someone, you know, it can be inspiring to hear a story from anyone who's amazing at something. You know, I think about this in athletics too, which I imagine we'll talk about later that like, if a pro athlete wanted to come and give a talk about what it takes to be a pro athlete, I would be like, tell me everything. But it's a lot more interesting to me to have someone who is or was where I am mm -hmm. telling me about how they're working through what they're doing. Absolutely. And what's successful and what's challenging and like be there with me in it rather than being like, I don't know, I was naturally gifted and now I'm Olympian.